Hey everyone! So similar to last episode's Easter video, which I funny enough recorded around the same time as this one, we also got another unusual episode today. Because unlike the previous installments of this, I guess you could call it show? We will not be using a car to go bluey hunting, at least for most of it. There's like one or two stores where I use a car to go get stuff, but that's not until later. However, for the days I didn't have a car, I actually used public transit, and basically relied on the train and bus to get me around Los Angeles, where I was hunting for this episode. And as you can imagine, it was certainly a unique experience, especially since there were also some other strange things that we'll discuss later. So with that, let's not beat around the bush anymore, and roll the footage. All right, so I don't know if you can hear me right now because I'm just kind of walking past a busy street That's kind of noisy. But anyways, as you can see in the far background right there I don't know if you can really see it because it's kind of far. We're just walking across the parking lot, but we're going to a Walmart and I heard online that I think they're getting in some new bluey stuff I think maybe a couple like general regular items like the usual things but also some new Easter stuff already because of course right when like Valentine's Day ends at like the exact second that's when like the Easter season starts I guess and uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be at like every store but I know like some stores are already getting in like Easter merchandise so I guess we'll check the seasonal section and see what they have I don't know if this location will have anything, but, you know, as I always say, you never know, so we'll just go inside and look. So, coming into the Easter section, as you can see, they're already pretty loaded, even though it's not even March yet. I think this is the part where they have, like, the themed brands or characters. I know you got a ton of Mandalorian stuff over here, but there's not too much bluey stuff. There's a couple items like this, what even is this, cup of doodles? I'll probably leave that for someone else, especially since it's the only one, but outside of that, they don't have too much bluey stuff, of course, as always. Alright, so even though I didn't get anything bluey related, I actually haven't had lunch yet and I'm getting really hungry, so I decided to get this chicken sandwich because that's something Walmart sells now, apparently, or they've actually been like selling hot foods for a while, but I haven't just really bought in it until now. I don't know if bought in it is a word, but you know what I meant. But yeah, I don't know if it's going to be like actually good. It can either be surprisingly good or really terrible. But yeah, who needs Popeyes when you got the Walmart chicken sandwich, am I right? It's got a decent crunch to it. It's got like a little bit of crispiness and stuff. And the buns are actually really soft, so... It's actually not bad, especially for the price. So right now I'm actually in front of Target and I was just finishing up my chicken sandwich from Walmart. And over here I was just looking at the ledge cause a bunch of people just threw all of their trash in the bushes and stuff. It's like a pack of cigarettes, some notes from like a sketchbook of something. Of course a bunch of trash from like fast food places. Got a bunch of stuff and then over here you just have like a copy of Spaceballs on DVD just lying there. It's kind of weird because it's like completely silent right now. You can only just hear me and literally nothing else. But here's the bluey section. As you can see, it's kind of empty. It looks like they kind of have a lot of space right here. But they just have like most of the usuals. Although it is pretty well stocked, but nothing I'm really looking for. Nothing like new, new, new. Of course, they got the... Squishmallows just hanging right there. Oh, let's just put that back there and hopefully secure it a little more so it doesn't fly out. But yeah, overall, that's pretty much it. So I guess we'll move on to uh, another location, but they do have a decent amount of stuff. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to mention that in case you couldn't tell, I don't have a card today, so. I've just been taking public transit and trying to walk around. In this area, it's not particularly the most fun place to be taking a stroll through, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. I have no idea if there's actually a Target over here. Google Maps says there is, but 
I guess we'll just keep walking this way and find out. Oh boy, we're almost there. I can almost touch the entrance. All right, so it looks like we finally have a winner here because they got a lot of new stuff. They have the uh, miniature Bluey house, which I guess is like a portable or budget-friendly version of the big, expensive, regular one. And they have this like fire truck. I've seen like commercials for this. Even I get them in my YouTube feed. And then up here, we have like this collector's case, which is actually super cool. They even put Jack and John Luke and Lucky, so you know they're serious. <laughs> and they even got like a couple of the new plushies. They got the Baby Bluey plush and the Leela plush, which can be pretty hard to find. I know the Bluey plush, the baby one, is very sought after. And they even have some like market sets up here, like little play sets for like, I guess, role-playing and stuff if you want to like pretend to have a shop and stuff. But yeah, they actually got a lot of new stuff here. That's really impressive. And then I didn't even notice these up here, but they actually have the story starters too. They got like two fresh pegs of them. They got a bunch of like the same ones from before, but also a few different ones for five bucks each. I'm not sure if I really get anything actually because I don't have my backpack or my car with me, so... It's going to be really hard to haul anything, but it is pretty cool to see a bunch of new stuff coming out. So I'll have to get these when, I'm, when I have the room for it. But for now, I guess we'll just take a peek at it. <laughs> All right, so I'm currently at a different Target now. Today's a different day from the last segment because I actually have a, access to a car now. So you can see they don't have like all of the new stuff. They have like this random watch here for some reason, but... They do have the collector's case, and down here, they actually do have the little miniature house, which is actually pretty cool. I think I might just pick this up, but other than that, there's not too, too much of the new stuff. So I guess we'll just hit a another store or two and see what they have. So currently right now I'm making a quick stop at a Walmart. Unfortunately, no, they didn't have any Bluey Easter stuff, but they did have quite a few playsets and regular items. They actually have the Baby Bluey plush and some of the new ones right here. I think this is the first time I've ever seen them at a Walmart. And then up here you have the new mini house, so I guess it's not a Target exclusive. But other than that, once again, it's mostly the usual. Alright, so I'm back at another Target now, and as you can... Alright, so we're back at Target now, and as you can see, they do have some of the new miniature playsets, or like, little playsets, I guess you could call them. They just have these two, I think it's the Farmer's Market playset, with like, fruits and stuff. Then they got like, an ice cream shop, or like, ice cream stand of some sorts, which is actually pretty cool. I don't even know if something like this is in the actual show. Maybe in like a future episode or something, but regardless, it is pretty cool. They got a bunch of like these big box sets over here. Funny enough, they don't have the new fire truck, but they do have pretty much everything else. Although this was <laughs> just completely jacked. I don't know how someone was able to steal that entire thing, but I guess crazy things happen around here sometimes. I guess right now is a good time to pull the classic. It's for my brother trick. That's totally who I'm getting these for, am I right? As you can see, it's a little bit cloudy, but the sky is coming out a little. And we're doing something very special this day, and what I mean by very special is we're just going to a Walmart, so... Actually, not that special, but anyways, hopefully they'll have something good this time. It's been a while, and I feel like my odds at this point are kind of low, but as I always say, you never know. Oh my goodness, so I was just at the front of the store, and the security guy actually stopped me because he said I looked familiar, even though I haven't been here in ages. He said that I looked like someone who came into the store yesterday and stole a bunch of medicine, which obviously I didn't do that because I wasn't here yesterday. But thankfully, I pulled my mask down and I actually don't look like the guy he was looking for. But yeah, I almost got in trouble because I supposedly looked like someone who was 
shoplifting. So that was kind of a close call. I'm just glad I didn't get arrested though for something I didn't do, but that was interesting. But um, yeah, that was kind of awkward and it kind of scared me because I wasn't sure how to like verify or prove that I didn't do that. Even though like I was telling the truth, they wouldn't have like known that and would have obviously assumed I was lying. But yeah, that was kind of interesting. But over here, here's the regular section. And honestly, they don't really have that much. It looks like one of the play sets is on display, but overall, nothing really new. Although they might be getting in some stuff soon. I literally got to the bus stop on time right before the bus came, but of course, the bus stop I was at just happened to be under construction, or at least the sign said so. So I had to go to another stop, and then by then, of course, the bus already came and left, and now I'm just walking along this grassy area in between two roads. This side is actually like the big busy road, and this side's like the residential road, so I'm not just like walking down the middle of the freeway, but the stuff I do for this channel, I swear. You know, I didn't really realize how loud it is at these freeway stations. I know people online talk about it all the time, but being here in person is definitely an experience. I don't even know if y'all can hear me right now. It's so loud, but yeah, it is like crazy loud with all the cars and stuff. Once again, I don't know how well the phone is picking it up, but it is like super loud down here. I think like the bridge is just making all the sound like echo and amplify like even more. It's just super loud. It is kind of cool. We got an empty train, so I guess we'll just chill here for now. The next stop is Long Beach Boulevard Station. I think this is like one of the older cars they've had for a while, but thankfully it's not in too awful shape. Alright, so we're about halfway over there. There's an Arby's cup on the floor because we just passed by an Arby's. And I actually stopped there just for lunch because I was getting hungry and oddly enough, it's weird because like every time I usually go to like one of those places, I just get like a cup of water because that's all I really drink to be honest. But for some reason here, they didn't serve like water or just cups of water like I tried to ask for one but the lady at the counter told me they don't give out cups of water for some weird reason I don't know honestly I think it was just like kind of a ripoff but also considering what I know about Arby's water with those recent videos maybe that was honestly a good thing maybe they were just trying to prevent the next apocalypse I have no idea but anyways let's uh try and get out of here and head to the next store which is going to be a target i think but yeah as you can see right now i'm just kind of in a random part of los angeles near one of the metro stations i live like literally nowhere near or anywhere near here i'm just trying to find a place where i can get to with uh public transit around here but yeah this is like just kind of a random area but i guess we'll eventually make our way to the next stop they just have like two completely separated platforms where the trains come in. I'm just waiting on platform two right now and I'm just hoping the train doesn't show up on the other side because if it does then I'm pretty much going to be screwed but I think the trains are supposed to come on this side but I'm not really sure. Okay so it looks like one of them is like coming from over there. I guess the uh, trains just like rest over there or something instead but I guess it is just coming on this platform, so that's a good thing. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, get to the target uh, eventually. Alright, so I finally made it to Target and they actually have a decent amount of stuff, but nothing really too, too new. They have like the new miniature house down there and then they have like a few other items, but overall it's mostly a lot of like older stock they're still trying to sell, so nothing really like too new, but I guess it's something, although I probably won't buy anything at this location. Of course, they got these kind of cursed things, but 
yeah, nothing like really extremely new. So I think I'll go to another location today and then maybe wrap it up from there. All right, so this is probably gonna be the last stop of the day. As you can see, the sun is going down and we have a pretty beautiful sunset. But of course, we're not at the beach. We're just at this random target in a city called Azusa, which is right near the metro station. So that's why I ended up all the way over here. But hopefully they'll have something. Honestly, at this point of the day, I'm not expecting much, but you never know. So here's the regular section and you can see they have a few items, nothing too crazy, just like a few play sets and stuff. They do have like the new fire truck in the collector's case, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna get those like here or like right now, cause I'm still kind of on the fence about it, but they do have like a few items, but once again, nothing too crazy, although they do have some of the new stuff, so that's good, I guess. And I think we'll just kind of wrap it up for today, but I will go to a few other places in a couple days. And I guess assuming this video is not over, we'll uh, cut to that, I guess. All right, so I'm just at this random Target right now, and... I didn't realize this yesterday, but I actually have a 15% off any purchase store ride for at least one item. And I didn't realize it yesterday, which is why I didn't use it, but it expires tomorrow. So I just thought I'd run to a random target and see if they have anything I could just get to use the coupon on. And I remember yesterday I was kind of mixed if I should get this thing or not. Not really something I'm looking for but I see commercials about it everywhere and I think I might just use the coupon on this just for the heck of it. So because the toy section was a little bit messy I didn't get a chance to check the price tag. I think this thing might be like 25 or 20 bucks or something. If it's somewhere in that price range I would say that's not really a terrible deal but I just wanted to check real quick. Oh wow well, so it's actually like right in my field of prediction it's $24.99 which I guess it's not like a terrible price as I mentioned. I mean, you don't really get too much with it. You just get two figures, a couple props and the truck. But I guess the sets with vehicles are usually kind of pricey because you have like a lot of like movable parts and stuff. So I guess that kind of justifies it. Alrighty, there we go. So this is kind of random, but for like a little under $6, they have these little bluey squishmallows. <laughs> I assume they're just like the regular ones, but they're just like extra small, which is kind of funny. Honestly, they don't actually look too bad. I mean, they're still a little bit cursed, but honestly, the design isn't as creepy as the regular one. But yeah, that's like a little thing they have, I guess. And they have a whole stack down there with some other characters. But yeah, I guess they have like a little squishmallow. Now, this wasn't an item I was really looking for because I think this is for like little, little kids, but I've heard about these. Like these little like cups of like, what is this, like juice or something. And then on the top of the cup, they have like the heads of various characters. I know they have a bluey one and honestly, I didn't even know they had a bingo one, but they have one just right there. For some reason, it kind of just looks like an orange bluey, which I guess you can argue that's kind of what bingo looks like. Although I think there's some differences, but is kind of a funny novelty item, although I'll leave that one for someone else. But yeah, kind of interesting. The internet really isn't joking when they say that the best sunsets you'll ever see in your life will usually be at Walmart or something because this view is actually pretty nice. <laughs> so I'm at another, another Walmart. Yes, I know. And I just noticed yeah. this thing in the aisle. Yeah. I have no idea what this thing is. I think it's called like a cloud pillow. It's literally like a ball or egg-shaped pillow with just a giant bluey face on it. Super weird, but honestly, I kind of like it. It's kind of strange, but in a good way. It's like $13, which isn't a terrible price. I might pick that up later. I know I say that a lot, but I might actually consider it this time, but I'll see. I'm trying not to buy as much as before, but it is kind of funny. I don't know why they did this, but they had to put the tag all the way on the bottom. And now this thing's gonna get wet because uh, someone put something wet on the cash machine, but yeah, it might get a little bit dirty anyways. 
And with that, we have wrapped up another episode of Bluey Hunting. I do apologize since this episode wasn't as active as my previous ones, as once again I have been buying less than I used to, you know, just trying to actually spend my money wisely and that kind of boring stuff. But I hope it was somewhat entertaining regardless. Especially with the chat about Arby's and going on the train. That was actually kind of fun. If you don't know, I'm actually kind of a nerd for stuff like public transit. So if anything, getting to use it for bluey hunting was more of an adventure than a hassle. Even if it was obviously far from perfect. And who knows, maybe I should discuss that and other stuff on my channel? Like a vlog about trains or something? I don't know if anyone would want to see that or even other topics besides Bluey, but let me know if you do. But until next time, my name's Hideaki, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye everyone, and whatever you do, don't miss your bus.